Hello, hello, welcome to the show, welcome to the show, welcome to the show, it's time to talk about TCGs. Today, we open up Afterworld, Egyptian and Japanese, a Panini game from 2016. I'm sure probably none of you have heard of this, I basically never heard of this. But it was a thing in 2016. Let's check this back out. Got the nice, uh, a nice official Panini plastic wrap on it. Welcome to Afterworld, where historical and mythical civilizations vie for power in a trading card game that features a board game feel. Yeah, y'all can't even see that. All right, so yeah, TCG with a board game feel. Has two player starter set, contains 166 total cards, two 78 card decks, one 10 card booster pack, two playmates. Seems like a heck of a deal. Can be had on eBay if they're still around. Cool, uh, Poseidon Aquaman art right there. Right. Afterworld. Cool comic art right here. I like, I like. Got a mermaid. Got a samurai. Another merfolk Aquaman lady. Mira. And a gladiator. Welcome to Afterworld. Two players, 20 to 45 minutes, ages 13 plus. The greatest civilizations of the past and the present, both true to life and mythological battle for dominance in a new, intriguing world. Protect your territories, activate powerful relics and items, and recruit units to your army as you seek to destroy your opponent's locations. Okay, so what are the card types? Territories and fortresses. Commanders. Units, items, and events. Territories and forests. What all, what the, uh, the things on the card are. Card title, deck limit. Okay, deck limit in the top right corner. One of these in the deck. Right there. Card type, card text. Resources produced, number five. Produces four coin. Yeah, it looks like four coin. And three food. Okay, you got coin and food. Two different resources in this game. Uh, strength is number seven. Where's the strength? Okay, strength, 17 strength. Looks pretty interesting. Okay, the commanders. You got commanders. One is the card title, two the deck limit. Uh, three, the card type, commander. Four... Card text, five unit limit, five units you can have probably on the board, six card number, seven movement grid, seven is the movement grid, okay, so looks like you can move those 40, those 90 degrees, uh, 45, 90, and 180, hmm. Interesting. Units. Expand. Book is too big to be putting on this uh, in the frame. But anyway, the game is played in a series of turns until one player has won. There are three steps in each turn, and both players will perform them. At the beginning of the game, randomly determine who will be the active player for the first turn. This player acts first in each step, and the active player changes at the end of the turn. If you are not the active player, you are referred to as the passive player. When it's your turn to be the active player, you will carry out three distinct steps. One, supply. Two, invade. Three, reinforce. Object of the game. In Afterworld, your goal is to beat the opposing player in one of two ways. One, elimination, raise your opponent's fortress, 
or two, slash and burn, raise all eight of your opponent's territories. Okay. Setup. Randomly determine which player will be the f will, will be the active player first. If you're playing more than one game in a row, the loser of the previous game decides. Okay, we got four factions, Egyptian, Japanese, Norse, and Atlantean. Bust out this board in a second. Eight territories. Discard pile, remove pile, exile, fortress, the deck. Each player shuffles their deck of 60 cards face down, offers to cut their opponent, and then places it face down on the fortress. Each player gets an opening hand of 6 cards to form their deck. Each player may take a mulligan. Uh, add the 3 commanders for each player face up off to the side of the Empire. It sounds like one of my uh, favorite games so far, uh, Codex Card Time Strategies. We'll probably do a video on that at some point. Trigger started the game, commander abilities. Sounds cool. Uh, step one, supply. Step two, invade. Yada, yada, yada. Step three, reinforce. End of the game. As soon as either player raises all eight territories. We already went over that. Constructing decks. Certifications. Do -do -do. Sweet art. All right. Quick reference guide. Okay, quick reference guide. Let's go over that. Quick reference guide. Step one, supply. In this step, both players will do the following actions with the active player doing each one first. Draw three cards. Ready all of their expended cards, units, territories, items, etc. This is also when a player would use any supply step cards and effects. After both steps have done these, move on to step two. I ain't gonna read all this, but uh, step two, invade. Step three, reinforce. End of the game. All right, let's open them up. Two paper playmates. Man, this takes up a lot of table space. A lot of real estate. Okay, we got. It. Yeah, this is outrageous. Uh, can't even get this in the frame. I'm sorry, guys. All right, territory. We got eight territory slots. We got pretty much what we saw in that picture. Deck, three commanders in space for units by your commanders. Yeah, this is outrageous. Okay, lift this up. Yeah, a lot of unnecessary space in this box. It didn't have to be this big at all. But I guess the presentation. Adjust this. Okay. Okay, we got some standees. One, two, three, four, five of them. They could have really just folded the boards like one more time and took half the space for this box. But you got to sell it sometimes. Looks like we got uh, three big stacks and one booster pack. Any secrets under here? No secrets under here. All right, so open this one. We got the Vindictive Hurler. Looks like we got a four card limit of this, something like that. Three attack, three health. Human ranged unit, expend. While this unit battles, your attack total is plus X. X equals twice the number of ranged units in the opposing division. Uh, three resources, three food. Okay. Four of those. Sapphire Scarab, six of them. While this unit battles, your attack total is plus X. X equals the number of battling Scarabs you control. Gives you three coin, look like. Looks like six of them you can have in your deck. Looks like Prophet of the Gods, four of them you can have in the deck. Human Melee Zealot, uh, one five. Your Scarabs and Servants cost minus one gold to a minimum of one. Okay, four of those. Palace Guard, while this unit battles, it gains plus X health. X equals the number of humans in this division. 
I'm guessing the divisions are the units that are next to the commanders. Onyx Scarab, 2-2. Expend, which is most likely tap. Your opponent's attack total is minus X this battle. X is the number of Scarabs you control. Harbinger of Death. Fla uh, Follower of Ra. Four of them. Elite Slinger. Whips and Chains. Now I got Whips and Chains. Uh, Greaves of the Pharaoh. Four of them. Cursed Dagger. Four of them. Ankh of Osiris. Once per turn, when a unit you control is destroyed, its owner may return it to his, his or her hand instead. Okay. One of them. Must be powerful. Relic. Shower of Scarabs. Four of them. Return a Scarab you control to its owner's hand, destroying opposing equipment. Search for the Lost City. Three of them. Devastating Winds. Two of them. Choose a division. That division can only move once this turn. Yeah, like there's movement in this game too, so... Would be would be interesting to play. Resupply. Choose a supporting territory you control. Raise that territory and draw X cards. X equals that territory's total production. Okay. Uh, territories produce these resources, apparently. Uh, Call of the Dead. And of course, if I didn't say it, you know, this is the Egyptian deck. Uh, Call of the Dead. Event. Search your deck for an Egyptian unit and discard it. Two food. Acid spray. Four of them. Choose an opposing unit with a base attack of four or less. Expend it. All right. That's the Egyptian deck. And let's go Japanese. Has anybody ever played this game? I doubt it, but let me know if you have. Let me know if it's good. Is it worth me going out the way to play it? I'm sure it is, but... Let me see what you think. Weapon Smith of Fire. Two of them in a deck. Wandering Ronin. Four of them in a deck. Spiritual Yamabushi. Human Melee Sorcerer. Expend. Four or five. Look at the top card of your deck and put it on top or bottom of your deck. Scry. Two one. Yamabushi of Yang. Loyal Yoji Yojimbo. I think that's a uh, Matt Groening Simpsons bunny, Yo Jimbo. Friendly Kami, Feudal Samurai. Like the comic art on this a lot. Dojo Sensei, Archers, Wakizashi, or as I would call that, uh, Raphael Sai. Nah, not a Raphael Sai. Not at all. Sakobatu. Katana. No Molina. Kabuto. You're not worthy. You're not worthy. Visiting the Kabuki. Live by the sword. You 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 will surely die by the sword. Uh, honorable Seppuku. Kill yourself. Die by the sword. There you go. I told you. All right, if you have Live by the Sword in your discard pile, opposing units in this battle gain minus two health this turn. Nice. Right. Last pack of cards. Last big pack of cards. Yagyu, Revered Teacher. One of them in a deck, but they give you two of them now. Uh, Takizo, Master Swordsman. Same thing. Amaratsu, Sun Goddess. Okay, these are the commanders. Okay, let's read the commander ability. And the commanders can apparently move, I guess, to different territories. And they can have seven units, it looks like, or seven territories, something. One of them. So, at the start of your turn, you may switch the positions of any supporting territories. Interesting. Really want to try this game. Izanagi's Fields. Three of them. This is a territory. 
Expend, gain one food. Okay, so the territories give you resources. 11 strength territory. Cool. Yomi, land of the dead. 9 strength. One of them per deck. Expand, gain one food and one gold. When this territory is raised, your opponent discards two cards from his or her hand. Shogun's Tower Fortress. Rice Patty. Nine strength. One of them per deck. Expand, gain two food. And two food icon in the corner. Peach Orchard. Mineral Vein. Jade Mine. Expand, gain two gold. Even though it's jade. I guess you can trade it for gold. Uh, Izanagi's Fields. Expand, gain one food. 11 strength territory. Expand, gain one gold. 11 strength Geisha House. Yagyu, Revered Teacher. And this is a um, commander that is horizontal. Like it's a territory for some reason. But Yagyu, Revered Teacher. Can move 90 degrees either way, once or twice. Samurai in this division can be chose, ch chosen by opposing by opposing effects. Okay. And some of these commanders are horizontal. Weird. Takizo, Master Swordsman. Commander. Ninja in this division gain the samurai trait. Samurai in this division gain the ninja trait. Amoratsu, Sun Goddess. Okay. Back to the... Vertical commanders, uh, Egyptian, Sarah, first servant, uh, commander. This division can only contain servants. When this division enters battle, you may discard the top card of your deck. If you do, your your attack total is plus X this battle. X equals the discarded card's total cost. Rahima, resourceful Jin. Expend a unit in this division. Look at the top six cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Kaba'ak, lead general. Back to the hor okay horizontal territories. Freshwater fishery. Expend, gain one food. Pharaoh's treasury. Palace market. Expend, gain two food and one gold. Freshwater fishery. Mineral deposits. Kitchen of the Pharaoh. Great pyramid fortress. Fertile Shore, Excavation Site, Sarah, First Servant, Rahima, Reforceful, Resourceful Jin, again with the uh, Horizontal Commanders, Kaba'ak, Lead General. These were the same guys, but some of them are horizontal, some of them vertical. I don't know. All right, and let's open this pack. Afterworld, 10 cards per pack. Panini. I think they also made the... Uh, They made that one DC game. Cross. X Cross. I'll do a video on those two. But anyway, uh, Spartal Provider. What faction is this? Atlantean, maybe Viking. I don't know. Gathering of the Asir. Yeah, it's got to be Vikings. Book of the Dead. Destroy Book of the Dead. Choose two units in your discard pile and put them into play into this division. Destroy all units in this division. At the start of the reinforced step, use only if this division is in your empire. One of them in the deck. Four gold. Calls look like Relic Commander. Spy's Eyes. Egyptian or Ninja or Samurai. Water Sprite. Unit. Merfolk Spearman. Mer Merfolk. Transformation. Choose a non beast unit. Choose a non beast. That unit's base attack and base health are one for this turn. Four gold. Upside down card for some reason. Poison vial. Equipment. Okay. Weird upside down cards. Traversing Bifrost. Event. One of them. All supporting territories produce one food instead of their printed production this turn. Use only during the supply step. Unnatural Sandstorm. Two of them per deck. Choose one of your attack divisions. If that division has only humans, shift it to the east or west. If there are no divisions in that territory, two food. All right. Man, looks interesting. I would love to give it a play someday. Uh, if anybody wants a detailed how to play. 
let me know. I will surely produce that. And y'all have a good one. Deuces.